Hi, it's Evan here at Ease Into Flow. Welcome back. Today we are continuing on the Sun B series that we started in my previous video. I have it linked. If you are new here, please be sure to subscribe so you can do the previous video and do this one. And so we will be continuing on so we will have our warm up, our Sun A's, our Sun B series, which we will be adding more poses. And then we will also have our cool down like normal. So this flow is just a little bit longer and it will also jog your memory if you did the flow from the previous video and so with that we'll go ahead and get started on our backs in Sutta Baddha Konasana all you need is your mat no yogi blocks or pillows are required but you are more than welcome to use them all right let's get started we'll meet on our backs in Sutta Baddha Konasana bringing our feet to touch and letting our Knees relax on the edges of our mat here. Holding one palm over our belly and one palm over our chest. We'll take five collective breaths together. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Then exhale. Inhale, then exhale. Inhale, then exhale. Ensuring your shoulders are planted firmly on the mat. We'll then begin to close our legs, bring them up into tabletop and allow your legs to fall over to the left side for easy supine twist. Keeping our gaze over to our right shoulder. We'll be here for the next three breaths. Begin to rise up. And slowly fall over to the right side keeping our gaze over on our left side inhale and exhale we'll be over here for the next three breaths Bringing your legs back into tabletop, begin to give ourselves a hug and rock east to west. And begin to rock north to south into tabletop. Stacking our shoulders over our wrist. As we move into a series of cat cows, keeping our spine and neck neutral, we'll then begin to dome our spine for cat. Inhale for cow. Exhale, dome our spine for cat. Inhale. Exhale for cat. Inhale for cow. You can begin to set these free. You can rock left and right. Do a few wrist stretches. Neck circles, whatever works for you. We'll meet back in tabletop in four breaths. We 
Leaning back into tabletop, we'll then begin to step back into high plank, keeping our heels over our toes and our shoulders stacked over our wrist. I invite you to drop down to your knees if you prefer. But in our high plank, we'll then begin to release back into downward facing dog. And pedal out our feet. Pressing into the triads of our hands. And slowly but surely, to the tops of our mat and allowing ourselves to hang into a ragdoll pose, keeping a nice bend with our knees. You can place your right hand outside of your left foot and begin to press up, rise up and twist into ragdoll pose on the left side. And slowly lower. Doing the same with the left hand. Bringing the left hand over the right. And begin to raise up with our right palm. Then slowly lower. Then vertebrae by vertebrae, lifting yourselves up with our crown being the final one to raise, circle sweeping our hands to prayer center. We'll use the same intention from last time. If you'd like to set a new one, you're more than welcome to. To trust the flow as we move on to these, these new poses for Sun B. We'll circle sweep our arms, and then move forward into our establishment round of sun eights. Exhale, four fold, surrender. Allow yourself to sink in. Inhale, halfway lift, hands to shin, spine is in neutral. Exhale, plant your hands, step back into high plank. Chaturanga Dandasana, keeping that 90 degree bend. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Right, deep cleansing breath, inhale. Then exhale, sigh it out. Inhale, rise to your toes. Exhale, step up, drop to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise, Urva Hastasana. Exhale, surrender, four fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands, step back into plank. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, rise to your toes. Exhale, step up, travel to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise, Urva Hastasana. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands, step back into plank. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. We'll take two deep cleansing breaths. Inhale. Exhale, sigh it out. Inhale. Exhale, sigh it out. Inhale, rise to your toes. Exhale, step up, travel to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise, sweep up into chair pose. Tucking in your tailbone. Giving yourself the space you need with your feet. And also keeping your pinkies dialed in together. Inhale. Exhale, forward fold. 
Inhale, halfway lift. Chaturanga, plant your hands, take your flow. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift up your right leg. Three-legged dog, keeping it flexed towards the floor. Exhale, step it through, low crescent lunge. Bring your gaze up and your chest lifted. Chest lifted. And then slowly begin to drop the left arm in front for open twisted crescent, twisting via our chest, allowing for strong arms. Then exalted crescent, lifting up with that left arm then exhale, plant your hands for low runner's lunge. Then spring forward for perch pose. Keeping that right knee bent and our left knee behind the right knee. Then exhale into warrior two. Keeping that bend in our knee. You should be able to see between your two biggest toes. And then straighten that leg. Reach up for a peaceful triangle. And then slowly but surely, we're gonna continue reaching with your right hand until you can't reach anymore for Trikonasana, triangle pose. Keeping your shoulders stacked over one another. Then slowly back into perch pose once more. Then rise up for one-legged Tadasana. Making that lowercase h shape with the left leg. And then exhale, funky chair, bringing that left leg over the right. And you can bring your hands to prayer center or you can let them be in front of you for a further challenge. Then bringing yourself back up into one-legged Tadasana for the final time on this side. We'll then release into warrior two, keeping that heel arch alignment. And then we'll transition into low runner's lunge at the back of the mat here. So our right foot should be in front or whichever the opposite leg is for you. And then lifting up with our left hand for easy twist. And then meeting our left leg to reach our top of our right leg into a side plank. You can also drop one knee if you'd like. And then slowly begin to reach back for wild thing. And then bringing yourself back into high plank, chaturanga. Take your flow. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Now we'll take that on the left side. I'm still gonna do the left side, but I'm going to swap sides so my back isn't continuously faced to you all. So, lifting up that left leg. Flex towards the bottom. Step it through. Low crescent lunge. Begin to slowly rise up here. Chest is proud and our shoulders are beneath our ears. And then slowly begin to drop the right hand in front or your whichever's opposite for you. 
and your left hand should be backwards or whichever is opposite. Slowly begin to reach up with your right hand and then exhale, plant both hands down for low runner's lunge with the left leg or opposite leg still placed forward. Gathering your footing, spring forward for perch pose, keeping that bend in your leg. And then slowly begin to release into warrior two, keeping that heel arch alignment. Rise up for peaceful triangle, straighten that front leg, and then continuing forward, trikonasana until you can't anymore, into triangle. Shoulder stacked over shoulder. Inhale, then exhale. Then perch pose once more. With our right knee behind the left, and then slowly but surely lifting up into one-legged Tadasana, keeping that right foot flex. Then exhale into funky chair. See if you can sink in lower on this side, then rise back up into one-legged Tadasana. And then warrior two once more. And then bringing it back to low runner's lunge here onto the mat. Keeping that left foot spiked up since we're on the opposite side. We will begin to lift up with our right hand for easy twist. Keeping our shoulders stacked over each other and then bringing the right foot to meet the left into side plank. Still keeping the shoulder alignment. And you can also always drop the knee. And then extending back for a wild thing. Try not to hit your wall. <laughs> and then bring yourselves into high plank, chaturanga. Take your flow. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Feel free to grab some water as we move into our restorative portion of class. We'll then begin to meet on our backs as we did at the beginning of class. And taking the right leg now over the left here, we'll then begin to reach underneath our right leg and press into our hands to stretch our right quads. We'll be here for the next five breaths. Slowly begin to release. We'll then begin to take the opposite leg over the one that we just reached underneath. 
and we'll do the same on that side too for the next five breaths. Slowly release. We'll then begin to keep that left leg near us. And for supine twist, just taking a single leg, we'll bring that over to our right side and ensuring our left shoulder still stays flat on the mat. We'll hold here for the next four breaths. onto the mat and then we are taking our right leg over our left and keeping our right shoulder onto the mat hold here for the next four breaths and release. Taking both legs now up to the sky. You can actually do this in front of a wall or you can just have your imaginary wall like me. And we'll just lie here in waterfall pose since we were on our feet a lot, majority of the class. And we'll just rest here for the next six breaths. And slowly begin to release your feet onto the ground as we nestle into our final resting place. Your palms can be raised to receive energy or they can be flat on the mat for more grounding energy. You can allow your legs to just lay off to the side and allow your breaths to deepen and your shoulders to sink into the mat as we rest for Shavasana. Begin to bring back small movement to your fingers and your toes, your wrists, 
your ankles. Stretch your arms above your head. Also, do windshield wipers with your legs. And fall over to your favorite side. Begin to rise up. Circle sweep your arms. Bring your hands to prayer center. The highest good in me honors, sees, and believes in the highest good in you. Namaste. Thank you so much for completing the Sun B Stackable series with me. You should be proud of yourself. Please be sure to like and subscribe so you do not miss out on the next video. And let me know in the comments if you like this flow and what else you would like to see uh, within a yoga sequence. Thank you so much again. Have a great rest of your day. Bye.